Hi, this is Andy Ross from Silex Technology. Today, I'll be bringing up the Freescale IMX6 Sabre Smart Devices Evaluation Kit and adding support for the SX SD CAN, Silex's 802.11 dual band 11N plus Bluetooth radio. To do this, I will use the latest Silex 6K3 Evaluation Kit. To complete the steps in the video, you will need to purchase the two shown evaluation kits the IMX6 Sabre Smart Devices Evaluation Board and the Silex Technology SX6K3 EVK SD Evaluation Kit. The IMX6 series card is available directly from Freescale or through one of its authorized distribution partners. To purchase the Silex Technology Evaluation Kit, please contact Silex directly using the information provided at the end of this video. Once you've opened the IMX6 Sabre Smart Devices Eval Kit, you'll find the following items. Universal power supply, USB cable, quick start guide, an SD card with an Android image, and most importantly, the IMX6 evaluation card. The Silex SX6K3 EVKSD evaluation kit comes with four items. First, a 2DBI rubber duck antenna with a U.FL connector, the OTG adapter cable, this will be used to connect a mouse and a keyboard to the Sabre SD card, the SX SD CAN radio, and an SD card containing Silex's Linux demo image with our latest radio software. In addition to the evaluation kits, you'll need the following items, a monitor to plug directly into the Sabre SD card, a keyboard, a mouse, and a USB hub. Now we've got everything out of the box, let's start hooking things up. First of all, we'll put in the OTG to USB adapter. We'll then plug in the USB hub to this. I previously connected the mouse and the keyboard to the hub. Next, we'll connect the HDMI cable from the monitor. We then add the SD card with the Silex demo image. After that, the console cable, which will be connected directly to the USB port of a laptop. We will now add in the Silex SX SD CAN card. I had previously connected the antenna to the antenna port on the card. This will be inserted upside down in the SD slot in the back corner of the IMX card. Finally, we will add power. Now that Ubuntu is booted, we can see that the Wi-Fi interface is available by clicking on the network icon in the top right hand corner of the screen. Move the mouse over the icon and click the left hand button. Then move down to the network you wish to connect to, clicking the left hand button once again. You'll be presented with the wireless network authentication request. This will change depending upon the network and security used. In this particular case, we're using WPA2 PSK. Enter the passphrase and click Connect. When the board is connected, the UI will notify you of the connection and the network icon will change. You can then select the connection information option. This displays relevant information for the network and your connection. 
Now that we are connected, let's see what we can do. The most obvious thing is to take a look at the web, so let's open the included browser. As you can see, this has loaded the Freescale homepage. Just to show that we can go other places as well, let's take a quick look at the Silex America website. So there we go. We have the boards up and running and connected wirelessly to an access point. And we are now browsing the web. I would like to point out we have made available on the desktop the EVK user guide and the quick start guide in PDF format. If you have any additional questions or would like to discuss your application, please contact us using the information shown here. We would welcome your call.